I would probably say about five hours a day. Mm -hmm. Meet Noni and Ferris Snowden of Bentonville. They say hours of iPad time has helped their 18-month-old Thatcher thrive when it comes to learning. Big difference compared to children his age when it comes to developmental skills, and I think a lot of that contributes to the educational videos that he does watch. JAMA Pediatrics measured hours of screen time while considering the ages of the children in the study. It found that between 4 to just under 6 percent of the children in their study developed issues in gross and fine motor skills, along with problem solving, communication education, and social and personal skills. The Snowdens believe from their own experience, it's not the amount of screen time kids get, but the type of content they're absorbing. We use a lot of YouTube kids for those educational videos. They say they don't just hand their son an iPad and walk away. We actually get in and interact ourselves. While the study found a small percentage of kids face the developmental delays associated with screen time, some experts say they see it on a larger scale in day-to-day -day life. We're competing with all of the action and activity on a screen that comes uh, with three second scene changes. And I don't know a teacher anywhere that can provide novel stimuli every three seconds. Laura Osborne, a speech language pathologist at Washington Elementary in Fayetteville, believes that any screen time lessens a child's attention span over time, which she's noticed in her own job. What I see is children having difficulty holding a conversation, and conversation is what teaches us language. So how can those issues be addressed? Dr. Upton Siddons, a primary care physician at Baptist Health in Greenwood, says it's all about a healthy media diet. There are plenty of great ways in which screen time and media and all these things can expose us to educational things, to things that are fun and great as a family, but we also need to recognize that there are downsides of that as well and make sure that as parents, I think we're being very responsible as far as being aware of what our, our children are doing online. Similar to what the Snowdens are doing, staying involved in their son's media consumption. Say help, please. All right. The study also found that first-time moms, younger moms, or mothers experiencing postpartum depression were more likely to give their child more screen time on their tablets. Kayla Davis, 5 News.